Good morning, North American traders. Privateer FX coming at you with the New York opening call. Feel a bit like Charlie Brown trying to kick that football. Big mover in the European session was Dollar Swiss. We called it at the European Open uh, through 97.86 was a real gem. Got a quick 40 points out of that. Very little pain. We saw some of the bigger players come in through 98 to figure. All based on this 10 year yield, which is now at the magical 2.5%. As long as this guy's hanging around up here, we should see Dollar Swiss continue to go higher. This is our vehicle of choice rather than dollar yen because of the news last night that the BOJ is purchasing less of their own government bonds. So dollar yen is going to struggle now and the dollar carry trade or the dollar rates higher trade is going to be driven by dollar swiss let's check out cable here we got what we wanted at the uh, 135.25 we're short the high has been 32 since the low at 13 you can see this 13 level coincides perfectly with the 200 hour moving average if we see yields continue higher, which I do feel like we are going to see going into the New York session, you want to add to your cable through 14 and then add again through 94. So 95 with the lows here. But once we get through 14 and ideally below 10, it looks like it's just going to be a matter of time before we finally make a move in this cable. We've been talking about this now for for a week. This 134.95, 135, the figure area is key for cable. So add your shorts through 14, add again through 95. We're looking for a test of this trend line, which comes in at 134.44, and an eventual break of this trend line, which will take us down to 133, the figure. Keep an eye on cable. Let's go to Aussie. We've been screwing around with some of the yen crosses, as you know. We're core short euro yen. Sold some uh, Aussie yen today. Also sterling yen. All the yen crosses look like they're rolling over here. Uh, but on the dollar side, we also like this Aussie. We're at a very interesting sort of key moment here. 78.13. Prior low is 14.4. Today we printed 12 briefly. We're right here at 14. You want to be short Aussie. Dollar CAD is moving higher. This might be an interesting entry point for short Aussie. So price is below 14. We will initiate shorts or add to shorts. And you're basically using 30 now as your uh, KO point on the top side, maybe 32. Again, you want to keep a very close eye on the 10-year. Price right now is 12, 12 and a half. So we've just sort of settled here at this 250 yield. We're going to wait for the muscle in New York to come in. Hopefully bang this guy lower. Uh, the lower these bonds go, the more pressure there will be to buy dollars. Euro dollar followed through nicely. Got what we wanted there through 60. There was another bout of selling through 50. Should pause at the figure. We should see a little bit of buying and, and a pause at 119 the figure. But there's no reason to change your tune here on the euro dollar. This is a sell on rally if you're not short. Uh, and if you are short, you want to tactically enter 
as we break important levels. 119 to figure is the next one to watch. Ideally, we get a touch at 119, a small bounce, and then we break it either tomorrow or late in the day today. Euro yen. We've been banging on the drum short euro yen now. It's worked out for us. Uh, maybe a little over focused on that in this session because it really hasn't done much. We had a high of 92. Now we're at 64. We're waiting for that 50 print, 134.50. Again, same type of strategy. We're looking for the 50 print and bounce. And then through 50, there's going to be some forced selling we foresee. So we will add to the misery and sell some with those guys through 50. We'll keep a tight stop on that. Very, very tactical. You're just trying to help your average. Uh, and if you do get lucky enough that there's a bit of a rush through 47, 48, you want to just grab cash on that and help your core average in Euro Yen. As they say, the easy money, uh, or there's never an easy money in FX, but the straightforward money plus a little bit of luck last night with that BOJ maneuver is now finished. Now it's going to be a little bit more of a slog. The core short Euro Yen looks like it's going to pay. Let's pop over to our friend the Kiwi. This goes bearish and golfing if we can get prices below 55. If you look on the hourlies here, we're, we're, we're toying 63 the low. Looks like you got a lot of room down here if you can get below 55. Uh, I would argue that if you see Aussie down through 12, you can put initial shorts on through 63 and then add normal size through 55. Again, this is just a yield play. I have there's nothing to do with my bias against or for New Zealand. This is a dollar play, but it's lagged a bit. So maybe Kiwi and Aussie are going to catch up with Euro dollar. Dollar yen. We're not doing much with this. You know, it's kind of a tug of war here. We've got U.S. rates higher, but we also have looks like the beginning of a taper in the BOJ. All of the research that uh, we've seen and the participants in the market all tend to agree that this is going to be sort of a two-month slog. we got to wait till there's either a new BOJ president or a reappointment and then expect maybe a policy change in March or April. That said, this news about a possible taper is going to make dollar-yen more difficult to trade on the top side. So right now, we are just leaving dollar-yen alone. Let's quickly go over to sterling-yen. We talked about this at the open. We have this very pretty picture here with the doji here. Now we have a lower daily high. It kind of reminds us of this, um, the beginnings of the euro-yen turn. So we had indecision. Now the first beginnings of a bearish bearish movement. You could probably draw some trend lines here that uh, might come into play. That's kind of pretty. Trend line break now through today's lows as a matter of fact 152.57. Sterling Yen is a slippery bastard so careful of that but core Sterling Yen short looks good. Add through 57 looks like a professional maneuver. So keep an eye on that. Basically all eyes are on this 10 year yield. We're at 250. What we want is New York to hit the bid on the 10 year bond raising the yields. And we look for dollar Swiss to move up another sort of 30-40 points 
There's really no resistance right here until sort of 98.60. Tough to chase it if you miss this morning, but because it's FX, you're likely to see a move back to 05 figure. And if you do, and if bonds are still low, you want to buy that dip. Quickly to the cryptos. Bitcoin, a little bit lower. Not much to say. Still just banging around this 15,000 level. Ethereum, we got that little sneak peek above 1225, but no love. Uh, and then for us, that means just square longs and throw your random bids back in. 10,000, I mean 1,000, maybe 950, 880, and wait for the volatility there to be your friend. All right, that's it for now. I wish you guys good luck watching this 10-year yield. Seems to be driving the bus. Have fun today, guys. Talk to you soon. Ciao.